The emergence of fish marked a monumental leap in the evolution of life on Earth, paving the way for all subsequent vertebrate life, including amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. This journey began with simple, jawless creatures that gradually evolved the defining features we associate with fish today, most notably the backbone and later jaws. The dawn of vertebrates. Early jawless fish, the earliest undisputed fish fossils, appear in the early Cambrian period, around 530 million years ago, a time of rapid diversification known as the Cambrian explosion. Oh. These pioneering vertebrates were a far cry from the fish we know today. This notochord is a defining feature of all chordates, the phylum to which vertebrates belong. They belong to a group called agnathons, meaning without jaws. Key characteristics of these early jawless fish included which means their fossil record is often sparse and poorly preserved compared to later bony fish. Notochord, instead of a true bony vertebral column. These early fish possessed a flexible rod called a notochord, which provided support for the body. They might have used muscular pumps in their pharynx to draw water in, similar to modern lampreys and hagfish. Pacaya from the Burgess Shale is another crucial fossil that exhibits chordate characteristics suggesting it could be a very early ancestor or close relative of vertebrates. Cartilaginous skeleton. Their skeletons were primarily made of cartilage, a softer tissue than bone. Evolution of allowing for more powerful muscle contractions and more efficient swimming. Vertebrae filter feeders. Lacking jaws. These creatures were likely bottom dwellers that fed by filtering small particles of food from the water or sediment. Over time, Segments of cartilage or bone began to form around the notochord, eventually encasing and replacing it. This development provided dermal armor. Many early jawless fish, like the ostracoderms, developed extensive bony plates or scales on their heads and bodies. This external armor likely served as protection against predators and provided a stable framework for muscle attachment. Examples of these early jawless forms include Hikuchis and Milikonomingia found in the Maotianshan Shale of China, LVs, are among the earliest and most primitive known fish, demonstrating a clear notochord, gills, and a segmented body. Pikaya, while its exact classification is debated, the, the transition from a simple notochord to a full vertebral column was a gradual but critical step. Increased support, a more robust and flexible internal skeleton, protection, better protection for the spinal cord, which carries nerve signals throughout the body. This trend is evident in the fossil record, with later jawless fish showing more developed vertebral elements.